The first thing that we're going to do is actually go ahead and set up our database structure just so while we're building our system we know that we can work with the database, insert records, read from the database. So we need three tables here. The first one is a users table, uh, the second one is a groups table and the third is a sessions table which will store uh, session data of people that have asked to be remembered to, to be signed in. So the first thing that we're going to do is create the users table. Um, this has seven columns, um, so let's go ahead and create this. Now the first um, column here is ID, and that's going to be an integer, and this is going to be um, auto increment, so every time a user registers, uh, this will uh, increment, uh, or every time a record is inserted, rather, this will be um, incremented. We also then have a username, a password, a salt, which we'll explain a bit later, a name, the date that they joined and the group that this user is in, which by default will be set to one, we'll handle that in our code. So the username is going to be uh, a varchar, so variable characters, and we're going to set a max of that or, or a length of that of 20. So in our code, when we validate, we're, we're going to make sure that the username never exceeds 20 characters. Now the password is going to be a hash, a one-way hash, so we're going to put that to 64. That's the length that we're going to be generating it at. And the salt is going to be a 32 um, character uh, uh, salt as well. So the name is going to be a bit larger, 50 characters just to allow for larger names. Again, in our code, we'll make sure that that never exceeds 50. Uh, joined is going to be date time. So date time there, which obviously uh, includes the date and the time. And the group is going to be an integer. That will just be whatever corresponds to the ID of the groups table. So let's go ahead and uh, create this. There we go, we've done. So let's take a look at the structure. That's the structure, we've got everything that we need. So let's go on to uh, creating another table. And this is going to be the groups table. And this is significant, uh, significantly smaller. So that will be three columns. The first one's going to be an ID. Second one's going to be name. And then the last one is going to be permissions. So the ID again is going to auto increment and that's going to be the primary key. The name here uh, will just say 20 because this will just be the name of the user. For example, standard user or administrator. And the permissions is going to be text. Now the reason we're doing this is this is going to be a JSON uh, object or JSON uh, string, if you like, of, um, of different permissions a specific user can have. So administrator will have uh, an admin property of one. But again, we'll go into this a bit later on. So that's our table uh, in the sense of that. And uh, let's go ahead and create the last table that we need. And that is the users session table. And again, this is going to have three columns. So this is to hold uh, session hashes of people that have asked to be remembered uh, when they're logging in. So again, we'll go into this later, but basically this is just going to store a hash uh, which corresponds to a user ID. And if these match, if the cookie hash matches uh, in the database, then the, that user will be logged in. So we're going to have an ID, a user ID to determine which user it is, and a hash as well. Uh, and this hash is going to be 50 characters. Uh, user ID is an integer. And again, this will be an auto increment. So there we are, we've got our three tables that we need. Let's go ahead and just fill in some group data uh, while we're here. Um, so I'm going to create a standard user and I'm going to put no permissions. So there's no need to define any permissions for this. This is just going to literally be a standard user. Um, and let's go ahead and insert another one and I'm going to say administrator. Um, now in here we're going to create a JSON string and we're going to say admin one. Now the reason we're doing this is we're going to check um, based on permissions and this is the permission identifier. So we'll look at this later on when we build our user class. So that's basically it for our database. We've created th the three tables that we need to make everything work and later on we'll be interacting with these tables um, very very um, heavily. So we'll you know we'll be looking at these as we go. So that's the three tables that we need and um, we filled in the data for uh, groups and later on when we start allowing users to register we'll be able to insert some data into those.